M zero FXB, welcome to my channel. Just having a look at WF View. It looks very good, and it's um, open source, and it's free software. To uh, and it, and you can view your. You, know, you can have this screen and control your radio and have a nice big full screen scope like so. Let's just minimize it back, and you can have it on your nine seven hundred, your seven three hundred, your seven six one zero, and I believe the. R8600 and the 705 even wireless. So we're using a wired connection. So if you want to download it, just go to the download page. I'll put the links in the description. Just click download here. And I, you just get a zip file. And I ran it, no problem at all. Once I ran it, I went into settings. Here, just show you that. Uh, you can see the 7300 now connected in the background. And I literally just Put in connect, uh, selected connect over the USB here. I didn't touch any of this up here, although it is selected at modulation input USB, USB. I did have to sort of reboot the software after I put the settings in for them to take. So COM4, which is just on my device manager, same USB driver that you have with uh, for your ICOM. So there you are, Silicon Labs. If you're doing wi if you're doing a wireless connection to the 705, then that's different. You need to add a virtual COM port, but we're not. This is the ICOM 7300. So, COM4, as my device manager showed, 115200 is the board rate I've got. Server setup, and I put in 94. And I put that in, rebooted, and it just connected straight away. Um, and then I went to view, and here we are. And I've checked all these controls. You can change the frequencies. You can turn the radio on and off. You can select different filters. You can see it on the radio changing as I do it. Change the frequency. Like so. You've got the band edge. Change the span as well. Yeah, and when you change on the radio, it does change on the scope to on the on the software. Enable WF themes. There you are. You've got all these different themes. Uh, if I, all right. If I, you can stop and start the waterfall, and then you've got these different themes. If I go to say this one, let's enable the waterfall. Look, you've got these different themes. Quite cool. Different themes that you can use if you like. You know, that look very nice at night, wouldn't it? Uh, preamp works. Changes attenuator. The tuner works. There you are. It's tuning. See that in the, the in the screen. Transmit. There you go. So it all just works. So thanks very much. I thought I'd check it out and show you. Um, thanks to the team there that have made this. They've got a good website here, wfu.org. Lots of information. You can see it here. And it looks like that. I think that's the 7300 there. Um, and look, they can, you can even link it to digi modes and, as well. And uh, I'm using the Icon 7300. So check it out. Let me know what you think. And I'll just show you that zip, how simple it was. Look, WFU, I, I clicked it. I mean, we've already run it, but we'll run it again just so you know what it looks like. And then click next. Literally that simple. Look, it's telling me it's already there, so I'm, I'm not even going to run it. But it, it ran... You know, it ran flawlessly, I'll be honest. See if we can cancel it now. Um, so, 7.3, thanks for watching. And um, I'll be doing... This is on the 7.300. I'll be doing the 7.05 wireless next. Uh, and then I might do like a comparison, if I can do it, of the RSBA1 ICOM software uh, and this software, sort of side by side. But I think that's going to be quite tricky to set, set it up on one computer but I should be able to set it up on two. So, hey, give me something to play with. 7-3, all the best.